so this is one of the favorite question of uh, the surveyor about panting and pounding you know there are uh, six movement of the vessel all you must be aware of it okay so uh, we have specially designed uh, the forward part of the ship and uh, i've already covered one video about the bulbous bow there also i have discussed the construction part you can watch that video see uh, so we'll be discussing here more in depth about what are the panting and pounding arrangements at sea the forward part of the shell plating is subjected to panting movement like breathing in and breathing out due to varying water pressure due to encountering waves and pounding due to slamming in heavy weather these local stresses are considerably different and extra strengthening of forward shell plating is must hence construction within four peak tank differs from that of rest of the ship the cellular double bottom arrangement which is there in every part of the ship is discontinued here in this tank so if you look at this tank arrangement it is somewhat something like this that you have wash bulkhead this here you have wash bulkhead then you have panting beams are provided you, you have to name all those things when survey is asking we have plate stem then we have stem bar then this is the uh, collision bulkhead part portion okay and then you have floors okay these floors are of different types that is uh, watertight floor bracket floors and solid floors okay and then we have chain lockers we have bulkhead stiffeners we have painting stringers so these things are very important painting beams painting stringers okay these things you should name plate steam wash bulkhead you should be able to name all these in bulkhead stiffeners and chain locker so this is the arrangement for uh, four end structure see four end structure it is there so same way uh, you see here this is four casual deck this diagram only already we have covered there in that portion uh, so now when we talk about uh, these things we have uh, you can see that stem section provided over here and in that stem section we have painting stringers from uh, top side view this is a top side view of the arrangement and uh, there also you see that painting beams and painting strangers both are present in the uh, uh, this portion and there you have seen the wash bulkhead what we could see there in the uh, in that diagram strangers breast hooks that these things already we have discussed in the bulbous bow construction part you can watch that what is a breast hook this is also a very important question now when we talk about pounding arrangement solid plate floors are fitted at every frame space so the diagram that you have seen now i'm explaining that diagram solid plate floors are fitted at every frame space in the pounding region center and side girders are extended forward to few floors to resist the distortion of bottom due to slamming and it is discontinuous at the width of the bottom gets narrow so you can see here the width of the bottom is getting narrower okay in the amendment okay so this is the uh, pain when we talk about <coughs> uh, so the structure is strengthened to resist the effect of pounding from the collision bulkhead to 25 percent of the ship's length you must have seen the collision bulkhead uh, 25 in the ship's length from the forward the flat bottom shell plating adjacent to the keel on each side you know, uh, east side of the ship is increased in thickness by uh, by between 15 to 15% and 30% depending upon the length of the ship larger ships having smaller increases in addition to increasing the plating the um, the unsupported panels of plating are reduced in size the transversely framed ships the frame spacing in the region is 700 mm compared with 750 mm to 900 mm amidship okay so these are the figures longitudinal girders are fitted 2.2 meter apart extending vertically from the shell to the tank top while intermediate half height girders are fitted to the shell reducing the unsupported to 1.1 mm meter solid floors are fitted at every frame space and are attached to the bottom shell by continuous welding can if the bottom shell of the ship is longitudinally framed the spacing of the longitudinal is reduced to 700 mm and they are continued as far forward as practicable to the collision bulkhead the transverse floor may be fitted at alternate frames 
with this arrangement and the full height side girders may be fitted 2.1 meter apart half height girders are not required okay so these are the pounding arrangement now when we talk about panting the movement of wave along the ship causes fluctuations in the water pressure on the plating this tends to create an in and out movement of the shell plating known as panting okay the effect is particularly evident at the bow as the ship pushes it away through the water the pitching motion of the uh, the ship produces additional variation in water pressure particularly at the bow and the stem which also causes panting of the plating additional stiffening is provided in the form of panting beams and stringers pounding or slamming results from the ship heaving or pitching thus creating these are the two different motion of the ship thus create causing the forward reason to slam down onto the water additional structure strength must be provided from the forward perpendicular aft for 25 to 30 percent that is also pounding arrangement is also 25 percent <coughs> of the ship's length the shell plating on either side of the keel is increased in thickness that is also there in the case depending upon the ship's minimum draft the frame spacing is reduced one and half height intercoastal side girders are fitted and solid flow this can be an imp another important uh, question about intercoastal girders you can watch ship terminologies video i have already covered there every frame space with longitudinal framing the longitudinal spacing is reduced intercoastal side girders are fitted and transverse flow are fitted at alternate frame now when we talk about painting arrangement additional stiffening for painting is provided in the four peak structure in form of painting beams uh, and i'm elaborating all those things metal beams running port to starboard and stringer detailed as below you can uh, watch here these are painting stringers painting beams okay section as alternate frame then you have this wash bulkhead it's provided these are wash bulkhead angle pillars this is the collision bulkhead that is there uh, these are the brackets that is the painting stringers and painting beams okay now horizontal side stringers spaced vertically about 2 meter apart and supported by painting beams are fitted at alternate frames so you can see here this is the forecastle deck upper uh, store deck beam uh, beam deck girders lightning holes center line wash plates so these are what these are solid floors okay then we have bracket floors and then here you don't have uh, so now these are the solid floors painting beams these are the painting beams breast hooks this is very important breast hook center line wash plates plan in a way of painting stranger now this you have seen, seen painting stranger bow plating stranger painting painting beam center line wash plate side frame okay painting beams are fitted to resist the in and out motion of the shell plating either side of the fore and aft line and connected to the frames by triangular brackets they are supported by partial wash bulkhead at the center line as required side stringers spaced vertically about two meter apart and supported by web frames or perforated plates spaced not more than 2.5 meter apart breast hooks are fitted between and at each level of painting stringer in the vicinity of stream so if they ask you a question there can be a what is about our breast hooks are fitted between between and and each level of the painting stringer in the vicinity of okay stem now collision bulkhead forms the aftmost portion of the four peak tank usually port and starboard chain lockers are fitted at the aft portion and at higher level anchor chains are stored here and their bitter ends are secured at chain locker now bitter end can be another important question what is the bitter end of an anchor okay i'm telling you all those things because these things you must have studied in your college time so i'm not explaining i'm just telling what to the oral point of view what answers you're supposed to tell here i'm not here to teach you anchor chains are stored here and their bitter ends are secured at chain locker bulkhead which can be released in case of emergency they must be marked properly okay so in a nutshell if we talk about uh, additional stiffening is provided in four peak tank structure 
the transverse side framing being supported by any or the combination of the following arrangements side stringers spaced vertically about 2 meter apart and supported by struts or beam fitted at alternate frame these plating beams are connected to the frames by brackets and if long uh, and if long may be supported at the ship center line by a partial wash bulkhead intermediate frames are bracketed to the stringers side stringers spaced vertically about 2 meter apart and supported by wave frames perforated flats spaced not more than 2.5 meter apart the area of perforation being not less than 10% of the total area of the flat aft of the fore peak in the lower hold or the deep tank spaces banding stringers are fitted in line with each stringers or perforated flat in the fore peak extending back over 15% of the ship's length from the forward these stringers may be omitted in the shell plating thickness is increased by 15% for vessel of 150 meter length or less decreasing linearly to 5% increase for vessel of 2 215 meter length or more however where the unsupported length of the main frames exceed 9 meter uh, painting stringers in line with alternate stringers or flat in the fore peak are to be fitted over 20% of the ship's length from forward whether the shell thickness is increased or not. Stringers usually take the form of a web plate with the flat facing bar. In twin decks um, spaces in the forward 15% of the ship's length intermediate painting stringers are fitted where the unsupported length of twin frames exceed 2.6 meter in twin decks or 3 meter in upward twin decks alternatively the shell thickness may be increased as ever okay in the aft peak space and in deep twin decks above the aft peak similar painting arrangements are required for transverse framing except that the vertical spacing of the painting stringers may be up to 2.5 meter apart if the fore peak has longitudinal framing and the depth of the tank exceeds 10 meter the transverse wave supporting the longitudinals are to be supported by perforated flats or an arrangement of transverse struts or beam that has to be provided so uh, these are the things with not dimensions they may be asking you but it was my uh, onus that i should be telling you the dimensions as well all together so these are different different painting and uh, paint uh, painting and pounding arrangements that is there provided and it can be asked you in safety because safety has three portion one portion is a shift construction in that portion it is being asked uh, by the surveyor in the oral thank you so much